Here we go. Twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show green room, great room navigator, bringing you into all of the good stuff before we even do the dang thing. How is everybody doing on a Friday night? No, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday evening, not even Friday. So thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Coming up, we got uh, one Andrew Heaton in the house. He's going to be playing around with us. We got some good stories. Uh, we'll be here in RTX uh, this uh, this coming weekend on Sunday. So please check us out. Bit.ly slash uh, Great Night RTX, capital G, capital N, capital RTX. It's in the show notes. Wherever you happen to be listening, watching, enjoying, experiencing this thing. Uh, alrighty, well, I believe, uh, I believe the green room may, uh, may in fact be ready for me. Green room, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. bitch. What's oh. up? <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitch? I just you know Brian, doing. Ryan ran away. I also Bryce, say hello. Wait, Bryce, can we I, uh, can we upgrade our friendship, uh, to where we call each other bitch sometimes? Yeah, yeah. in that one specific <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the look. Just like, me and you, like like yeah, everybody okay. else. If, okay. if if Heaton does it, it's fucked up. I'd be very yeah. mad. I'd be very mad. Yeah, Bryce, you still have to call me Mister Heaton, and I'll call you <laughs> yeah. Mister Bryce. It works. It works. <laughs> But but for it to work, you have to call me bitch in, in a friendly collegial way before this exchange ends. Oh, there I have to call you a bit. I have to say, oh, yeah, because now okay. it's a reciprocal thing, and it's not just me bullying you. <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> we're bullying Bryce? No, no. no we're up Is it bully Bryce, bully Bryce Mondays? Bryce and I, Bryce and I by, are by saying our bully inappropriate things. We're showing our love and fidelity exactly. to Bryce. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. Bryce, you have to end this by calling me a bitch. Okay. Well, I'll join you in a few minutes, there, bitch. Hey. Hey. He said it's so friendly. I can't. I can't. No, that's the thing. We've upgraded our friendship. Yep. Oh. So now we call each other bitch sometimes. Well, but that's only them. that's why I love Just you. And- yep. Cunt. <laughs> that's, that's a bigger upgrade. That's a bigger. That's, yeah. It's a yeah. steeper that's, upgrade. That's that's that's, 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 that's BCE. That's what we yeah. call the Australian upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey, Brett. You Just twat punching fuck what? puppet. What happened? Good to see you. I didn't know you. Come guzzling short Jesus mail. Jesus Christ. Has to be the, too, buddy. It has to be the too, same buddy. thing. No, I don't know. Does it? I don't even know. I don't. Heaton, it's been forever since it's you've been, been here. It's been forever since I've why, been here. Hello. Why have you forsaken I've just, us? <laughs> I've been busy on Tuesdays and out of the state and all that kind of stuff. You were you were doing a class. I was, I was doing a, a musical improv class. How'd that go? Long. I, I Two, three, four, funnier and musical. That's it. That's all I got. I can only do it for a couple of seconds. But yeah, I was doing that for a bit. I was camping last week. Yeah. Uh, and then, I don't know, just random stuff, traveling, all that kind of thing. Anyway, it's good to be back. Good to it be is. back home yep. here. Although I talk to you more often now that we have a new podcast together. We do. Yeah. We, we are now well, hold on. obligated to see each other once a week. I this is the first time I've heard podcast. about this. Yeah, we're not wrong. Myself, Andrew Heaton, and uh, for legal reasons, we've added a woman, Jen Briney. <laughs> for <laughs> that's the law. Yeah. In order for that's us to right. get our podcasting license, which is a requirement, we had to have a lady. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I Me think too. It's, it's I think fun. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I feel really like fun. I can kind of let loose a little bit more than I usually do. Oh boy. On on the on the normal <laughs> on the political <laughs> orphanage, my my main day job, I do feel obligated when there's a guest on to like. Huh, that's really interesting. Whereas, like on our show, I'd be like, "Nah, that's bullshit." You're yeah. Wrong. yeah, yeah. I could just call it because it's said in love. Sure. Like me and Bryce calling each other bitch. Right. Exactly. But that's if right, I bitch. call like I don't know Colin Powell a bitch or something like that on my show, that would not be okay. No, people would be upset. Wait, is he still? Uh, yeah. Either way, it would. It would be. <laughs> Are you it, wondering if Colin Powell's still alive? No, either way, it would not be appropriate. I mean, first of all, if you, yep. shit for real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a while this back. This was a poor choice of words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin Powell. Yeah, yes. you know how you could tell? How? If he was alive, he would have kicked in the door and kicked your ass by now. Yeah. Just for asking. That's what he was known. He, he was the Kool-Aid man <laughs> of the Bush administration. <laughs> <laughs> he, kicked the walls. he actually lived at the VFW Hall before he passed. So The, the Colin Powell. Yeah, right there. He lived at the VFW. Yes, home. he did. Well, you met him you once, that? right? Yeah. Yeah. And you do the best. He does the best Colin Powell impression. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. Colin Powell. All right. Walk us through it. 
So when it came to Vietnam, I hey you buddies, how you doing? <laughs> oh my God, it's yeah. just like the former just Secretary not. of Defense from 1998 <laughs> to yes. 20. Okay, yeah, yep. great. Colin Powell. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm at the UN in 2003. <laughs> there were weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Look at this little tube. Yeah. <laughs> See this tube? <laughs> he just had a little tube. <laughs> it's like, uh, these pictures, they look like semis. They're covered up. You draw your own conclusions. Yeah, uh, exit exit through Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew Heaton. Yeah. How many of the lyrics to the Blondie song Rapture do you know? I think I know all of them. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I was this many days old when I found them out. And he had never, he, he watched never. a parody. I, I oh, no 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 I I mean it was I thought it was a parody mm-hmm. and I thought it was so funny that I cried laughing and then I watched it again and cried laughing and then I thought I wonder what the real lyrics are and then they were unchanged they were the actual exactly. lyrics that's that's a, a high level of genius to be able to make your own self parody right out the gate good yeah. job Blondie uh, I mean just it, lands on the ground and out comes a man from Mars and you try to run but he's got a gun. And he shoots you dead, and he eats your head, and then you're in the man from Mars, and you go out at night, eating cars, you eat Cadillacs, Lincolns too. Right, pause it, pause it, here, pause, 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 pause it, pause it here. So, Brian, why, why would I not think this is a parody at this Brian, point? <laughs> Brian, uh, uh, of course, uh, like many of us, fan of the boys on Amazon, uh, oh. they have done their uh, a YouTube video. <laughs> Right, Bryce, do you know the lyrics to Rapture? <laughs> uh, no, I gotta touch some stuff. Though. Okay. But, uh, no. I is use it, that reason a lot. No, but so, I gotta touch some stuff. Did you take out the trash? No, no but I have to touch some, some stuff. stuff. <laughs> no, this is what? This is a song? So, uh, they yeah. Have, so, so, so this, Rapture, this YouTube, uh, no, this YouTube video is uh, all of the ancillary media that they create to be either in backgrounds or shown in small clips on oh. the boys. They have the fuller versions of what they produce that they are cutting those out of. Uh, and one of them is Soldier Boy, spoiler alert for like, the first three episodes of the new season of The Boys, uh, who is an older character that was alive during the 80s. And so one of these clips is him on Solid Gold performing, at that time, a contemporary hit. Uh, Rapture. Uh, Rapture by, by Blondie. Blondie. And wait, so wait, it's so his, so his, okay, I, I honestly didn't know any of the lyrics to this song. I thought you were making me do it for improv. Oh, no, that's, no. Great, that's great. That's great. That's so, great. So, wait, so, okay, so is okay. Blondie not an 80s band? Uh, it Blondie is, is an yeah. 80s band. And yes, uh, in fact, it was transformative because uh, uh, Blondie took rap to the mainstream because in the song Rapture, it starts off like a Blondie song. There's like a break, and then she just starts rapping for a little bit. Uh, she calls out that in quotes. Uh, 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 Fab Five, Freddie, and stuff. But uh, uh, but w- I lived my entire life, having seen it since I was in second grade, 1982, uh, until this moment when I saw it covered by a, a, a you know 30-something white man uh, singing it badly. And I found it so funny that I thought, this is hilarious. These can't be the real lyrics. And, uh, and then eventually I looked up the real lyrics, and they are the exact real lyrics. So, uh, I, again, this is uh, the character, uh, Soldier Boy. Imagine a, a dipshit Captain America on solid gold rapping... Go out to the parking lot And you get in your car And you drive real far And you drive all night Then you see a light Wait, so that's Soldier right Boy or Blondie? Uh, that's Soldier Boy. That's Soldier Boy. That's okay. Soldier Boy, but the, 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 lyrics, the lyrics are Blondie. It's a cover. It, it is. And, 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 and let me tell you. And a cover a, is a, when... faithful, a faithful cover. Yeah. It, yes. like he, he is not doing it in any more of an atonal sense than Debbie Harry the, the lead singer of Blondie does in that song. Okay, and keep in mind, this is the Beautiful song. Beautiful singer. Not exactly but, a And Mike this Spitter. is like the same arrangement. This is yes, not the exact same, same shit. Uh, I yeah. see. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the Playboy song that brought model. rap to the mainstream. Sure. Mars, and you try to run, but he's got a gun. And he shoots you dead, and he eats your head, and then you're in the man from Mars. And you go out at night, eating cars, you eat Cadillacs, Lincolns too, Mercury's, and Subaru. And you don't stop. Face to face, dance cheek to cheek, one to one, man to man, dance toe to toe. Don't I 
we just got to play the fucking did, song? Did, 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 I mean, I mean we, we only yeah, have, we only have 10 they, more seconds. Did, did they but yeah. run uh, their original lyrics through one of those English to Japanese translations no. back These and forth a few times? These are the exact actual lyrics of the song. I don't know where to go with this bit because I didn't it's know like an this American was a new band thing. Is like, right. It was a very famous song. Yes. But I was mean, like, oh, she's rapping. That's as far as I ever got. I never listened to the part about the man from Mars having a gun shooting you in the head and then you're dead and now you're inside the man from Mars. See, now you're eating cars and then you run out of cars so you start eating bars. Yes. Me being a little bit older than you, I remember when the song came out and as a kid listening <laughs> to the song, I absolutely love the lyrics <laughs> to the song because I'm like, really? They can just make up words like that and put and people... Re- this Actually, the beat's really good. So... I think I think I remembered that song first because there was like some VH1 I love the 80s or something mm-hmm. like that where it was people making fun of those lyrics in the special or like it was it it was it, it is hilariously one of the first big rap songs on like the pop charts on the pop charts on the pop charts thank you well because they didn't have rap charts <laughs> right uh, uh but yeah like it, it is it is significant in in that this is what it took for white america to be like rap huh <laughs> <laughs> It's not music, if you ask me. It's just... So it's like Russia Shativ, only urban? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. If you we're, got that... Man, I would have been Were we all supposed to get that? I don't know. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be. I feel like I, I'm in the wrong green room. I'm that's in a, the violet room. That is this a is not music, that's a musical term, <laughs> which means that you kind of uh, do... You speak, speak singing. Speak singing, and, and you mm. also have uh, maybe outside a rhythm sometimes. So every musical between the songs. Yes. Gotcha. You keep on eating cars. <laughs> Until there are no more cars. I can't and then, I mean, I is it just because it's a funny idea? How fucking yes. funny <laughs> Brian finds the it's lyrics <laughs> to Rap Shit. It was the it's first amazing. thing he said to me when I walked in. He's I'm mentioned still, it I'm about still obsessed 17 with it. times since. And the first topic he wants to bring up during the green room is indeed how funny the lyrics to Rap Shit are. I, uh, uh, yeah, okay, all right. Uh, uh, Next, I'm being we're going to talk out. about parents just don't understand i tell you it's a funny old song oh no no no! i i, I that one i memorized backwards and forwards uh, the it, entire it'd be, it'd be great to try and slip that into like hymn number five at church be like hey pastor this is about the rapture i'm just gonna give you this sheet <laughs> yeah. music here uh let's see uh irma over there can sing the soprono bit uh, sure. there you go <laughs> yeah you keep on <laughs> keep on eating, eating cars. bars going to cars all right. Yeah. Bubba Ryan. I'm, I'm the last guy to the party. None of y'all were laughing when when I don't know when, what's funny about out. the lyrics. They're weird. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a funny so- like it, it I don't know what it's like a song that if somebody was improving in and a rap song yeah. and had never really done rap, yes. they were almost as if yeah. the person who did it right. was yeah. that. It's that you're right. It sounds like a bad song. It was written by TJ Cool Guy or DJ Cool Guy. DJ okay. TJ Cool Guy. It's MC Cool Guy. The, the dog it's, with a mm. backwards hat on a yes, skateboard? Everything, yes. That's Man, it was a great sound. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a blanket, yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. I screwed it up. What are you saying? That's the, the improv yeah. Pope who doesn't give a fuck. He's like, yes, and to you. Yes, and to you. Yes, and. Yes, and. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Hey, remember that time you wrote a rap song about the Pope and the Pope heard about it? Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that I was did. cool. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, Which uh, pope? The old pope in the attic yeah. or the oh. hot new pope that skateboards? Skateboard, <laughs> skateboard, skateboard, and pope. Skateboard and pope? Skateboard. Wow. Right? Oh. One of them did. Uh, you, you were rapping about we the only, old, old pope. Yeah, no, but we, we only have access to one pope. <laughs> well, okay, but, but, well, mm, I think whatever, the, pope man. Is the same pope as the, when they were the pope that, when that song came out. Yeah. No, nope. I, I was no. rapping no? about I was rapping about oh. the Old cool pope. new pope. Yeah. No, you weren't. Okay. I wasn't. No, you weren't. That that's right. Which it, pope it was, was P O P E? You know where my money be. That's about. right. It was sourpuss Old Pope who was the, in the, the Hitler German youth. One? Yeah. yeah, Ratzinger, Colonel yeah. Ratzinger, H J. Yep. Clip Clavin the Popes. Yep. Is that what he was? Was it about Ratzinger? <laughs> uh, well, he was the Pope at the time. You tell me. 
Are we sure? All right. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to say you know who I, I like when he was Pope. Colin Powell. That's fine right. Pope. Yeah. Excellent Pope. Respectable Pope. Yeah. Beloved by both sides of the aisle within yep. the Catholic Church. He said he said uh, the uh, that the, the the body of Christ is t- uh, transubstantiated, and you can tell by these little metal tubes. Look, yep. look at this small look tube, look though. Small I got tube. a small yeah. tube yeah. here. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. You know, and the and the blood. I'm gonna of turn it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna turn it into a very small tube of wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess the Pope doesn't has that Pope doesn't have that power. That didn't pass down. He just talks to the guy that has that power. That's right. Right. So you did it yeah. right, and he goes, "No, it's cool." It's, it's not like a superhero inheritance. It's you not, don't get. It's to... not wine anymore. It'd be cool, really man. funny if he was just like, like, oh, like, but check your refrigerator, and he's like, oh, I just have this to sod. <gasps> You freeze frame credit. <laughs> John, John Paul, the second yeah. mind freak. That's right. I just couldn't stand live sturgeons being transubstantiated into my fridge every week. Yeah. It's like HelloFresh. <laughs> this is brought to you by HelloFresh. No, Everyone, is... you. Oh, yeah, no. Are we doing the bit now? Oh, no. uh, is that the commercial? Yeah. I thought this is the commercial break. I, 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 I lost the thread quite a while ago. <laughs> I, uh, I, yes. This is where he lost the thread. Sorry, this is where he lost the thread that Jesus made fish appear. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess that tracks. And it's uh, kind of like one of his big th- two what, things. What was the tube thing? Oh, I think Colin it was a reference to the anthrax tube. With oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, It was it. when okay. Jesus put a little rose in the tube so that they could sell it at the gas station. Right. Or when, yeah, yeah, yeah. when uh, John Paul II had those weapons of mass destruction, as I recall, from my <laughs> yeah. childhood. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Anyone ever been to a haunted house? Yeah. I have not. Have you ever been to a house that you really I've legit in believe in? Ha- is really? Yeah. You see anything? Yep. What, what, did yeah, you us, what did you see? Give us your spookiest My encounter. My spookiest <laughs> encounter. Yeah. So uh, back in the 80s, mm-hmm. uh, I was living. Hold on, wait. I'll set the scene. <laughs> now he's eating cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This you is the pick, biggest you, hit of you the You got to pick a lane. You're either in support of me discovering I'm something the scene. I'm or the scene. you're mocking me. You, you can't have both. All right. Living in a uh, an old mansion in Houston uh, mm-hmm. by the medical center. Mm-hmm. It, it was a co-op. Living it was a co-op. Dream. It was a co-op. Oh, okay. And uh, we go to fraternities I'll, where I'm from. Yeah, but I don't get this I, right. <laughs> it, I I wasn't good enough to be in a fraternity. So. How old are you? At I'm probably time? in my early twenties. Okay. In my early twenties. And uh, I'm living in the master bedroom. The, on the first floor is this cool little sunroom area that one of my roommates has and he has a whole bunch of midi equipment there so what are you doing in this house i am living there as i'm going to college okay yeah checks out so far yep continue brett (laughs) probably in his 20s in a fraternity. No, I'm not in a fraternity. No. no. He's, he's in a co-op. co-op. Later. He's in a co-op. He's in a co-op. Got it. He's and it's co-op. like hippies and not hippies and all different forms of yeah. people living in the place. Well, now I've heard that. not Jews because it'd be a kibbutz. Yeah, that would be weird. Uh, so. <laughs> Things we know. <laughs> yes. Things we know by Things. the words we use. Actually, Go I ahead. I think there are. I think there was a Jewish person that lived Prove there. it. And, uh, we had a. We had a what are, uh, what are, we, what are you doing, a, Brett? We, wait, what are you we doing? Where are we going? Sorry. We want to hear about the ghost. Okay, so anyway. Do you keep yeah. on eating cars? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's our centering moment. <laughs> anyway, the mezuzah starts <laughs> rattling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, le- I legitimately forgot top. where we started. Is it ghosts? <laughs> yes, ghosts. Okay. Ghosts. You saw there something in the house. <laughs> so, there I am. We're uh, back from commercial break. It's, it's right here. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Fresh. <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, it, it's around Christmas time, and I had been given permission to use the MIDI equipment to write music and do stuff, and this was all cool. If you were in the Christmas spirit. If I was in the Christmas spirit. Wanted, everybody yeah. was out. Everybody was out of town. I was the only one that gotcha. was still at You're the house. You're by yourself. By myself. And the where I am working on the stuff, my room is right above me. Gotcha. Right. Your room is right above you. It's right above me. Yep. So it's about 1.30 in the morning, and uh, and I'm just doing I don't – and then suddenly I hear my door from upstairs. I can hear from the room. Upstairs, I could hear someone walking across my floor, 
going around into the where my bathroom is. So I could a creaky it. wooden floor. Yeah, but yeah. it was like steps. Is it possible that in this co-op full of drunken 20-year-old <laughs> hippies, yes. someone entered your room unbeknownst to you? Uh, Colin Powell. Was That's who, it? No, uh, no, no, there was nobody Nobody the was house. there. Okay. There was no one in the uh, house. Nobody okay. was there. And, uh, and so I hear the steps going, and I said... I need to jam harder. I, well, <laughs> what I, I said out loud, I said, if someone is if living someone in my room with me, is living in my room with me, they better be paying rent. You said or, that. Yep. No, Who are you not. fucking? That's nice. Ryan Reynolds. No, yeah, that's great. Like that. Truly, I respect that. Like, yes. I, I love. I like. I don't believe in ghosts, but I love ghost stories. Yep. I listen to a lot of ghost uh, paranormal things. Right? Yeah. Paranormal podcasts. I know it's and, and like, and then he put a cigarette out on his teeth. No, and fucking, yeah. Oh, well, no, because you'll hear these stories where, dick, where ghosts like, like get out, and like the best response is, "How about fuck you? <laughs> yeah, how about fuck you? I own this place. Like, you got to yes. pay rent. It's a great thing yeah. to tell a ghost." And the footsteps stopped. So then I went to check to see. Who, and there was nobody there. There was nobody in the house. Was it still there? Uh, no, I don't know. Did you well, follow? Yes. yes, because it was because two months later, I'm there with a lady friend up in my room. Nice. And she says to you, Who's that, who's that really young guy standing behind you? Bury no. me with my golden No, arm. so, so <laughs> in, in the room, it's a master bedroom, so there's the bed over here, and there's a little couch, and then my back is to uh, like uh, two little closets, and the and the uh, there's a window in between. So I where got, where are you at in your relationship with her uh, we sexually? Bang. We we bang. Nice. It, was, it had already been done. It's postcoital. Nice. And we're wait hanging that out. right in in that sure. night. Not like that moment, but yeah. So <laughs> on, nice. on a long enough Ghost timeline, face, Victor. So uh, we were sitting and talking. Yeah. And it felt like somebody walked behind me. You okay. know, like you get and I turned and looked and she goes what and I go, well, it felt like somebody just walked behind me. She goes, no, there's nobody there. I'm like, okay. She goes, why is that door open to your closet? And that door is never open. And somebody had opened Except the door. Except it was open. Is it possible one of these drunk hippies was just <laughs> was masturbating, just, watching you damn. get it on? That, and that, that hippie? Colin Powell. Colin that's, Powell. That's, okay, so just, just to be clear, your experience in the haunted house was hearing steps. Yes. Yep. And then and a, feeling and somebody feeling, walking behind me. Feeling someone walking behind you yep. and your door being open. Yes. Closet door. Wait, no, open. hold on, Bryce. Be fair. A hearing, closet door being no, open. Hearing oh. steps while making a pithy quip that makes you the super cool guy that, who's a uh, 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 crack and wise I in the it. face of paranormal activity. Because it was my way of being not scared. Mm. That was my way of trying to not be scared. And he now gets $300 in ghost rent every That's month. That's right. <laughs> Three hundred dollars. <laughs> it's all in bones. Yeah, <laughs> that's their money. Oh, uh, another skull. Clients. I can't use this on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to a pawn shop. You have to you go. You have to go to rate. one of those airport kiosks. Skulls are. To, you know, I'll to, say to, is, to skulls it. are expensive. So I went to the uh -huh. University of Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Boomer Sooner. Yeah. And uh, the president's wife at the time, Molly Shy Boren, she would change the uh, the gardens all the time. She's constantly uprooting and redecorating the gardens like two, three times a year. And so I thought a fun thing to do would be to just kind of slip a skeleton in when nobody's okay. looking, right? Like go out one evening around midnight and just bury some skeleton parts in there. It's sure. three or four months later, well after anybody remembers I. I was out uh, on the South Oval at midnight on June 14th. Sure. They would have to shut down the whole campus for a murder scene, right? And so I went on and tried to find some bones I could buy pause on eBay. It, like it, like, yeah, like actual it. human bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted human bones. Yes. Not, not, not a facsimile. I wanted human bones, but it turns out they're really fucking expensive. They're it's really like $200 wanted. for human Before bones. Before we get to how much what, they what, cost. What, what year was this? 2000 and... Yeah, they would have been expensive by then. Five. <laughs> yeah. You know how we make them, yeah. right? Uh, we yeah. played the song. <laughs> so wait a rendered. minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. You wanted to stage the idea that there <laughs> might have been a mysterious murder in the garden. Yes, and that so was your put, goal. This is not, 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 not a prank. Bones. This not is a, as not a far as I thought. Uh, gotcha. it was, wouldn't this be funny if we had to shut down the garden for? This oh, explains no, two weeks. so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also. Because if you like, but I couldn't okay. buy one, so I just killed a guy. <laughs> Tell, me, <laughs> Tell me if this is fucked up, right? Because not only would you have to buy the bones, but you'd have to make them look aged and mm, decayed, point. Yeah. right? I mean, you not if you bought pre-aged, pre-decayed bones. Yeah, uh, come on. Uh, what are you? No, uh, eBay was around then. Yeah. What the fuck? No, I looked on eBay. It's, it's no, expensive. You, no, to, no. no it's, it's, where else are you gonna fucking get bones in two thousand five? Real bones. 
real plastic real bones. bones. Real, yeah, you get real bones. You get plastic bones. Real bones, no, plastic, real here's humans. Here's what I'm This is what you do with real plastic bones. Painful. Anybody That's... with a house that has a crawl space underneath, you should go ahead and just put down a layer of plastic bones there so that when you leave, it's just like a fun little present fun. for whoever buys it later. Yeah. But because it's plastic, you have a very no crime scene. sense of humor. No crime scene. <laughs> All yeah, plastic bones. You're just bones. figuring that out. <laughs> yeah. Very specific. The, the other I love I, long-term pranks. Yeah. The other long-term lo- pranks are <laughs> wonderful. Long-term pranks yeah. that may be murder scenes. Uh, really, and leave a ticklish funny bone. Uh uh-huh. uh-huh. little present. That's right. Uh, 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 that's fucked up, Heaton. You're a weird do, person. Do, so, do you, you, but, uh, how, so do, 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 do you remember what the cost was on eBay? I, it seemed exorbitant for me as a 21 year old college huh. student. The $35. <laughs> $35. <laughs> $35 yeah. I, I, I my... want to say it was like $600 for a skull or something like that, which mm. seemed way out of my prank budget. Nowadays, I'd just be throwing money around. Oh, you skulls yeah, left yeah, and right. Yeah, you you yeah, expect that. Back then, though, yeah. yeah we we yeah. got skull money now. Yeah, I got skull money got now. Skull yeah. Money. All right, hold on. I'm going to look up right now what the price of a skull is. Okay, hold on. And while you're skull looking skull that up. Yeah. Easy cars. Yeah, well, the wall. It's loading. Brian is tempting it's loading. Too. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the new Rick roll. So Not to mention, if you only had a skull, you would need... Like vertebrae or something? Can if you're, are we talking about? Well, heading? I think if hold on, now, let, let's flesh. say you're you're a regular gardener and you find just a skull. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I think I, you'd be like, even though I've not found the rest of this disembodied skeleton, mm. one skull is sufficient for yeah. me to tell the authorities. What I would, would say, what one would skull would be sufficient. What would that gardener say, Heaton? <laughs> uh, uh, let's say your name is Pablo and uh, you are a a 13 year gardener at uh, Oklahoma. And uh, uh, you're, you're, you're listen up, Pablo. This is a big account. <laughs> we can't have you screwing it up. This is the president's wife's garden. I need you to go in there and show me some gardening spirit. You've been slacking off lately, and the whole university has been talking about it. Now you put on these overalls. What color are they? Blue. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll get that fixed. Uh, <laughs> but now put on your gloves. How do they feel? They're tight. That's right. That's the way they should uh, be. Excuse me, boys. Uh, yes. I- I'm the president. Yes, oh, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. my wife has very big plans for this garden. I told you, Pablo. Don't oh, mess this one up. We need everything dug up post haste. Now, if yes. you'll excuse me, I need to get back to watching Colin Powell at the UN. <laughs> okay, listen up, Pablo. This is our last yeah, chance. Nothing, nothing, you nothing, know nothing. we're I on our nothing, last I leg. Nothing. I sold my ice cream truck to make this dream happen. You expect us to go out in flames? It's weird that we're <laughs> independently contracted rather than full-time employees of the university, but all the same, I see your God point. God damn it, that's what I told you at our last job, and then we got fired. <laughs> I Ugh. saw nothing. There's nothing in there. There's just an interesting rock. I will leave it for the next okay, team. Okay, listen up. Here's what I need you to do. Garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, boys. Uh, as I was about to read the very, very accurate New York Times reporting on WMDs, I overheard you say there was an interesting rock. No, 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 no. Pablo. No, 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 I'm no. a bit of a geologist myself. <laughs> Can you explain this rock to me? Pablo, listen, don't screw listen, this I, up. Mr. President, I'm going to show you this rock. Okay. I don't want you to freak just, out. Uh, just describe it. I I'd like to guess. I'm a bit of a quizman myself. Come on, just saying, Pablo. If, if you're angry about this rock, we could move it to another university. I garden. would really like for you to describe the rock. It's for a me. round rock with eye holes. It's white. <laughs> Amethyst. It's amethyst. That's <laughs> correct. Yes. yes. Well, oh. you're a brilliant man, President David Boren. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming out. Anyway, I'm going to go get back to learning the word Fallujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pablo, listen, you nailed it. Listen, I'm going to need you to Ooh. find more of these amethysts. I hear they're very valuable. I'll go make some amethysts, <laughs> sir. Uh, I'll be over at Smokey Joe's at closing time with some <laughs> yeah, wrapping again, are wire you? as per usual. <laughs> I told you, you got to quit that rap. It's going to be the this end job of you. It's very important to me. I have a hole in my resume from a year and a half ago when I had back surgery. I can't have another hole in it. I will kill people for you and bury their heads in the scar and claim that it's amethyst. Okay. End scene. <laughs>
<laughs> so anyway, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I heard somebody was very good at doing things that shouldn't be told. I've got a job for him. Manufacturing WMDs for my friend Colin Powell. I was in on it the whole time. The president of the Oklahoma or some shit. <laughs> The first improv scene with an after credits. Scene. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. oh, leads us the, into the, the next president scene. will yeah. be back in <laughs> <laughs> President Amethyst. <laughs> president mm. Amethyst. Uh, uh, well, shit, man. Uh, how was your trip out to Colorado? Wonderful. I had a great time. Where did you go? Uh, just like two hours Colorado. north of Santa Fe. Colorado. Uh, like Del Norte, Colorado? Yes. Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. I was out. So I like to go camping in national forests. Because I don't like, ta- like, if you go to a state park, it's basically tailgating. You're right next mm-hmm. to everybody, right? So I go to National Forest, and I try to get what I call outside of singing distance. Were I to sing at the top of my lungs, can anybody hear me? Which sounds more delightful than screaming distance, which sure. is what I used to call it, which seems inappropriate after all the skull talk. Yeah. So I went to Colorado <laughs> and uh, stayed outside singing distance for three or four days, went hiking every day for three to five hours, read a bunch of books, wow. and uh, enjoyed a maximum of 75 degrees Fahrenheit with my dog in a camper. It was are, glorious. Are, are, are there no like good privately owned parks, or is it just state and national? There could be, but you don't have to pay to use national forests. Uh, there's this is so Raytheon the, State Park. I, yeah. I, I feel like I'm the, always the, the way, the way national so forests work is they, they do they do have sometimes like designated campsites, but a lot of the times just don't occlude the road. And if there's like a divot or a pull off, you can just camp there for up to two weeks for free. So I just go do that. Hmm. Uh, we stayed in uh, Gunnison, Colorado. Where's that at? Uh, it is north, Colorado. Or southern, southern Colorado, <laughs> and uh, near Crested Butte. Right. So that's beautiful. Uh, at six thousand acre it. ranch. <laughs> Wonderful. Which was much like a park in. How itself. do I make friends with this ranch owner? Airbnb. Really? Yeah. You know you can't have this parties one? on Airbnb anymore. No, you can't. Wait, what? Their new thing is blanket. No party. No, no joy. No, no love. Wait, no what parties. about orgies? Because that was the thing that I don't want to say what I've used Airbnb for, but I don't want to do some stuff in my house, right? So, like, if you're renting Airbnb out for, you know, fluids, like rent you time. can't do that anymore? Parties. I mean, you, what do you think is a party? What is where, where are you falling on the ambiguity scale of a party? I don't know. I just want uh, to know. Yeah, yeah, legal representative I'm of picking Airbnb. Up what, I'm picking up what Bryce is putting down, and let me just say, Fidelio. <laughs> It's the house password. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I, it's the only one I know. What have we put down tarps before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, just, like over the furniture and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucked up. No, their whole thing is just like, yeah, just all the compl- all the hosts complain about parties and say they want no no party rules. So Fair they enough. just say, okay. No, no they, they just want to hit you with a, you broke the terms of service if you have a party that's party too fucked up. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Like yeah. they, they don't want to say, yes, you're allowed to have parties, but not a crazy party. If, if, you ha- if you had a party, but you all like took care of it, you weren't too loud, you cleaned right. up after yourselves, I wouldn't care, right? But if I come in and you broke the table, like specifically where someone. Oh, wait, no. Apparently they're saying that it was lifted. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Apparently it's back. It's back. Yes. Hey, all, right. all right. Good Friday Jardine. key party over yeah. at the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Throw those tarps away. That's I, great. Yeah. I, would, I recycle. I would imagine it's not that you're worried about your house getting messed up. I, I would worry that it's about your reputation with your neighbors getting fucked up. Where it's just like you come back after. A, I mean, you might not give a fuck. I mean, you're right. Rent, a lot of these people just own the houses just to rent them out. So yeah. who, they probably. Yeah, they ain't with shit. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Parties I, are back. When, uh, back, I guess. Fucking we, we, spraying all over these Airbnbs. <laughs> <laughs> Squirting like a super soaker. Pump, oh. pump, pump. Uh, <laughs> yours shouldn't sound like that. <laughs> keep going. Keep when going, you, Justin. <laughs> I mean, when, you, when you're working that hard, I, and I'm at fucking 200 cc. <laughs> yep. Ah, one time my, my penis goggles. coughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after one of these parties, you know, you just you wear yourself out, right, Justin? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, mine coughed so loud it sounded like a cave echoing. <laughs> did you say? I have a yes. wide urethra because I was coming yes. so much. Right. Just, like you yeah. heard it too, right? You did say that. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> yep. What happened? Sounds like a real struggle. <laughs> you definitely said mine coughed. <laughs> No, <laughs> I was making a penis joke, not a Hitler joke. When yeah. I make a Hitler joke, you'll know you I'm know making it. a Hitler joke. You made mine mm. cough. So, all right, I'm going to Germany. 
Uh, I've made a vow. God damn it, I've made a vow bit. that I'm not going. I'm going to not mention World War II. Okay, but how long do you think I will go in Germany not what, mentioning World so War II? Because I know we have a bet. Ooh, five minutes. To your spouse or to Germans? Just any, this is a blanket statement. Blanket statement. I mean, like I, this is a personal goal. I for think me. you can do this. There's a for lot of there's, there's a lot of history there that doesn't have to do with Hitler. Mm. There's That's a lot. There's a lot of stuff there. It's not like there's like an old Nazi town where you see lots of Nazi architecture. They blew oh most of that up in the war. I mean, uh, all I'll say is that for me personally, pop culturally, the the only equivalent would be like when the doctor hits your knee and then and you have a reflex when somebody says Germany Nazi like like Nazi Hitler Nazi like like that is just a thing that comes out of my All mouth right. whenever anything I think, I think what we have to do up. is expand your horizons yeah. uh, you've got uh, Dieter uh, uh, from Saturday Night Live okay now's the time I'm on sure, Sprockets uh, where we dance do you think they know Sprockets oh my god they oh, yeah. love it you love it you, oh so I'll get to show it to them if they you know don't who, know who's it. Gonna yeah, kill yeah, yeah. Volkswagen the people's wagon so like 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 yeah. uh, ninety nine yeah uh, deceiving deceiving the EPA uh, uh, lying about how green their vehicles are. Uh. This is still about Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. still too close. Oh, God damn. Yeah. Uh, so ninety nine Luft balloons is their favorite karaoke song that your wife excels at. She is going to be karaoke she will do very well. Queen Aaron Koiniger. I don't know what the word for Queen is. Ko- Ko- Koinig is king. I don't. I don't know. Russian I don't know why I'm looking at oil. Brett. <laughs> Talk about that a lot. I'm talking about Say, Russian oh oil. Oh, my God. Thank goodness for all your Russian oil, or I wouldn't have gotten <laughs> all the way from there to here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never traveled out of Russian, Russian oil, oil before. before. Yep. It's a real adventure. Smooth ride. Two sides of the you street, know, with I this say. Much ru- Russian oil, Ukrainian go anywhere. No. I'm sure that'll Keep kill. Keep on <laughs> that'll, eating. That'll kill in Frankfurt. <laughs> Volkswagens. <laughs> uh, I'm curious Ooh, to know uh, which jury sightseeing list that isn't somehow related to World War II. I don't have shit, man. It's my wife. My like, my wife really wants to how, go to wait, Germany. How long are you going to be in Germany for? About two weeks. There's this really cool. Hold on, I got. I got. I got, a, I got an idea. Yeah. So like an hour south of Berlin, uh, in in 2000, the Germans were like, you know, it's going to come back blimps and they were wrong but they built this big ass blimp hanger like an hour south of berlin it's just giant fucking blimp hanger and they turned it into like an enclosed water park a la the truman show so you go in and there's like hot air balloons going around inside of this thing there's a giant water park everywhere you you can swim out on this pier they've painted the edges to look like a sunset so you don't even feel like you're inside of a pool um, you just kill a day there. It's just like this weird, like, it's like if, if Germans had conquered the moon, that's what the moon would look like right now. All right. You, you phrased this when? place. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> when would they have conquered the moon? World War II. Oh, no, fuck. There was a movie. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. That's not a very good movie, though. No. I, I, had, I had such high hopes for it. It's yeah, not too good. Too. I, was it Iron, Iron Cloud or Iron, Iron something? Iron Cloud. I- Iron Sky. Man. Iron Sky, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Iron Man Iron featuring Man. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yes. Iron on. Man, that's right. Yep. About an Uber man with a metal suit. Giant water park inside an old German airship hangar. Oh shit. If that's still open, I would love to do that. Yeah, that thing that thing's cool. Well, that was only <laughs> seven years ago, so it was. It was posted in twenty fifteen. Mm-hmm. That thing's not going anywhere. What what, what are you gonna do with a giant blimp hangar? Like once, once you've already gone to the infrastructure, building up the water park inside of it, what better use are you going to have for it? Unless it got knocked out by COVID, but I don't think it did. Did Germans give a fuck about COVID? I think they did. Or did they uh, not give a fuck? It was the, it was the Swedes who who decided. The Swedes yeah. were like yeah. fucking. In fact, I, I almost tried. I tried to convince my wife to let me go to Sweden to get it like immediately. I was like, I just was to get like, it out of the way. Yeah, I was like, like I want to just get this shit now. And she was like, no, inappropriate. And I'm like. Agree to disagree, but you get the final call here, sweetheart. But I wanted to. I wanted to immediately get it. Probably better that I waited until I was vaccinated before I got it. But yeah, even then I got Omicron, so it didn't fucking the vaccine wasn't even for that strain anyway. So yeah. Anyway, Doctor Fauci funded <laughs> yeah. gain of function yeah. research. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know. Whatever. Fucking COVID. Uh, this is like the worst. This is wait. Hold on. Can, Things I don't want to talk can, about, can, like World War II in Germany. Can you go to? Uh, can you go to Liechtenstein? Because why the fuck is that a thing? Yeah. Like I really want to go to San, like when I when I'm going to be in Europe for three months or Scotland. However, you want to define this. I want to go to San Marino and just show up and be like, why aren't you part of Italy? Why don't you get with the program? I'm angry by your map. What is is it? Alsace and Lorraine are the uh, like the town that switched between. 
between Germany and France like yes, 15 I times? Yes, I stayed there. Yeah. I stayed there. You, you, you have? Can't, like, yeah. So, so uh, fun fact, they use different um, uh, railroad sizes in, in France and Germany. Isn't that a fun fact? And you can't... <laughs> You can't go from, from like Germany directly to France via that region because they've intentionally designed the tracks to be mutually in, uh, uh, workable. That way, like whoever conquers it can't go through the other one. I'm sure they don't do it every year, but back in the day. Back in the day, that was a thing. Yeah. They used to just, hey, we'll, we'll fuck you with bureaucracy mm -hmm. and weights and measures. Mm -hmm. We'll get you where the Germans or the French. <laughs> The Germans, that's who. That's, oh, uh, that's, that's, they were the ones. Like, this, G Germany's national Pretty motto should be... sneaky, sis. <laughs> who, uh, who would you say is the France of Europe? <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough one, Brian. I, I'd give them maybe Portugal. <laughs> Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. Want to live there. Portugal? Yep. Who's I the hear, I hear they, I, I, I heard they speak Brazilian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many is that? A Brazilian? Sorry. Uh, uh, I mean, in, in Miami, about 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, I think it's keep on eating it. cars, people. Keep on eating cars. Uh, uh, look, we got a hell of a show here for you. Yep. We uh, Andrew Heaton is here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brett Skulls here. and German shit. Uh, I'm going to tell Facts you. Facts about blimps. Uh, I'm going to tell everybody this. You are going to want to stay for the C Block because... There is a video that will play. This is the truest thing that applies to everyone on the planet except for me. Yes. I, I did not know this Because I, I didn't know. do not want to stay for the C Block. <laughs> uh, uh, this was played during uh, the, the Brian <laughs> seminar. Wait, 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 wait. We'll talk I'm about it. I'm just saying, it was amazing. I'd never seen it. I'd, I'd never seen it. And I had to come up with a very, very, very good compliment just because I had jokes that I needed to say out loud to an audience. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, everybody needs to stay and yes. watch that. Uh, so when, when, when we get to that moment, when you discover something that's very old, that is old news to me, I should just shrug and say, I don't understand. Why are you amazed by any of this? Is that, is that the correct comedic thing for me to do? I don't know. It's about a fucking man from Mars who shoots you in the head and eats you, and then you eat bars. And, and then it goes to bars. <laughs> this is you How is this not it? the most amazing thing that's ever amazing. happened? So it's called Thriller. Okay. All uh, right. uh, All and right. it's a thriller. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's a so starlight. He's he's a he's a he's a werewolf and and then and, and then a he's zombie, a zombie and, and then he dances chasing her and they're they're doing a little dance and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, she makes Vincent a little prices there. You you you've it's seen the, you know, you've great. seen the XKCD <laughs> comic <laughs> about exactly this where it's like when somebody discovers something that everybody knows like like uh, uh, you should be kind to them. <laughs> Because like you've say, been talking about it all like since I saw that's you. That's how today. amazing it is. <laughs> You're eating cars. She names a Subaru. Yes. It's the most. Big. It brought rap to the mainstream. How is this? Oh, all right, yep. all right. Yep. Wait, no, you can't be the history guy when you just heard it today. No, I've heard it my entire life. But I understood it today. No, understood. Oh, I listened God. to the lyrics right. today. Back to you, man from Mars. <laughs> Back right. to you. Have right. you guys ever heard of this heard album? album? <laughs> the Steely Dan? Steely Dan. There, there's this other album God called Pinball right. Wizard. Yeah. Thank, you, really Thank you, Green All right, everybody. We're coming uh, back to the... Uh, the Great Night pre-show. Green Room, Great Room, whole damn thing. Thank you for joining me. I'm Bryce Castillo. Yeah. Corey Cranfield here. Yeah, baby. And uh, we're going to talk about some other stuff here while everybody gets ready. We are. Uh, we, 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 might, we might talk a little race and stuff. Yeah. Some other stuff. Maybe some birthdays? Uh, yes, let's do some birthdays. Let's go to our Discord, greatnight.tv slash Discord. Uh, or maybe it's discord.greatnight.tv. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's in there. You'll find it. Uh, we got a channel called Birthday Borner, and we do have a few birthdays here. Um, Ooh. Let's see here. Uh, July 3rd is uh, Anton's birthday. Happy birthday, Anton. Mm. Uh, we've also got a, a, a Rooster Bat's son, Toby, is turning 14 uh, on Thursday. So happy birthday, yeah. Toby. 14 is a great age. Is it? Uh, yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Sunman is telling me that Tom Merritt's, Tom, oh, Tom Merritt's birthday is coming up. I don't think it's today. Is it today? I don't hope it's not today. I hope not. I, I should check the calendar now. I'm probably sending something. I'd be really mad. I hope I just. Uh, let's see here. Google Calendar. That'd be no good. That would be really bad if I. Uh, it's not on the calendar. Maybe it's coming up. Or maybe it happened. Oh, <gasps> oh, maybe we missed it. Oh, that would be even worse. Oh, well. 
We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, it'll be on the internet somewhere. It's yeah, it's, it's written down. Uh, and Meryl Barr's birthday was last hey, week too. Barr. Hey, uh, we're coming up on my brother's birthday. Oh, how, uh, how do you know how old he's turning? And he's old. I don't know. He's like <laughs> four yeah. years older than me, so uh-uh. I guess that'd be like forty-five. Probably. Are they? Are you planning to do anything like a dinner or go out? Uh, or, uh... He, he's he's way far away, uh, up in Central Texas. Ah, uh, yeah. West Texas. <laughs> it's like four hours. He's in Abilene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of Abilene. Yeah. But no, uh, he's uh, July 4th, so I don't know if that counts for this. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's soon. Maybe we'll do it twice. Yeah, we can do it twice. That's fine. Uh, well, uh, make sure you get your name in by uh, uh, letting us know in the Birthday Borner channel of our Discord. Thank you so much for all of that. Uh, you want to talk about some speedy race cars? Sure. Uh, uh, no, there, there was no, no Formula One race no. for the past week. We've got Silverstone coming up this yes. weekend. How do you feel about Silver, Silverstone? Um, I like it a lot. Um, the, my, my biggest complaint is uh, Mercedes usually wins there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hamilton pretty much has won there like <laughs> every year over the last decade. Mm. So, um, but there's I have mixed feelings about it. But this is a we've seen we've seen the lineup shuffle a lot. We've mm. seen I, I don't know. It this this feels like a season where precedent yeah. is tough to lo- rely on because these cars are new. Yeah. Um, you know, it was funny. I was uh, on Eurogamer. I guess the new Formula One game is out. Yep. Around the 22. And uh, uh, I really liked Eurogamer's review of it because they were like, you know, the way that this game is, this game is like really authentic and really involved, mm-hmm. but it's very specific to Formula One. Yeah. You know, all the pit strategy and the equipment and parts and stuff like that. You know, there are other sim games, but this one's very mm-hmm. geared to it. And, and they're basically saying like, you know, we kind of have to review the sport. Yeah. with the game because you know this year they've got the yeah. bouncing the porpoising they don't have that in the game but what, is this the best motorsport in the world where you're bouncing, bouncing and you around? have to bounce yeah that's that's funny and so that's that's interesting i, I haven't played any of that, that those i mean i play grand turismo and even those formula one games do too uh fiddly yeah you got to deal with the steering wheel and and so you, so you never played any of the formula one games from the past no not yet they were uh, they were pretty decent. Um, yeah. I still like the Forza um, as far as just like a racing experience. Mm. Be- partially because the Formula One is like they actually make it they make it hard, man. <laughs> it really yeah. is twitchy and hard to drive those cars. Yeah. Even in the racing sims. So. Uh, Grand Turismo Seven and Sport has a, a Super Formula car, mm-hmm. and they've got they've got a few other cars. They've got some oh, some old Mercedes yeah. F1 cars and stuff. Uh, but you you get in that. And if you've been playing the game and you're dealing with like you know road cars or commuter cars or even like race cars, yeah. the Formula One cars are just entirely different. Yeah, yeah. you know they turn on a dime, mm-hmm. but then you know you're dealing with tires and stuff. It's 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 a it's noticeably different anyway. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to try it out because I haven't played any yeah. of those before. H- had you played any of the official of the official? Uh, or no, I, I asked yeah. you that, the official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because uh, it was on Xbox Game Pass. Oh for, yeah. I forget 2019, 2020. I forget which year it was. Yeah, that yeah. I played. Um, uh, there's there's hullabaloo going around that the 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 PK stuff um, that just feels gossipy. So I don't know. Yeah, that we should... uh... Uh, 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 there was an old interview from last year that Nelson PK, former drivers champion, gave, and he used slang to describe Lewis Hamilton a couple times. Okay, so that's so and I saw was... Lewis Hamilton commenting uh, on Twitter, kind of vaguely about. We should be past this. Yeah, you change know. the mindset. Yeah, change the mindset stuff. So, I was, I, but I didn't actually have a chance to go look to see what we was talking about. So, so it was Nelson yeah. PK, huh? But yeah, and it's strange because like it, it was an interview from last year mm-hmm. about the Silverstone incident that Hamilton was in with Max, and uh, PK is uh, uh, his daughter is dating, dating Max. Max. <laughs> yeah. Which speaking of you, you you probably know the story. I didn't realize this uh, that how he, how those two got together. Uh, oh. PK, I forget her first name. Uh, 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 gosh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. so um, uh, Daniel Kuviat uh, was oh. the driver before Verstappen, mm-hmm. right? So Verstappen took his seat. Yeah. Also, his wife. Oh uh, shit! No the, the, way. The, uh, the mother of his uh, kid. <gasps> so not only did Verstappen take his Formula One seat, he took, also took his woman. His wife and his kid. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and and you yeah. know, I was watching uh, uh, a video from the race today mm-hmm. that was like uh, 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 Max. I didn't realize this was the the youngest 
Formula One driver to, to get a debut. Yep. He was 17 yeah, he, and a half. He's got the youngest of everything, uh, just about. He's he's the youngest. Of champion. I believe he's the uh, youngest uh, race winner. Yeah. Um, Great, because he won on his second race. Youngest point score, youngest fastest lap, youngest. Yeah. Uh, and and they were saying that that record's probably not going to get changed no. because yeah. uh, they made the super license minimum 18. Yep. Uh, so that's it was interesting there yeah. it was funny because like the race had that video about like mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff that only happened once and then wtf1 had like 10 world records you don't want to have and they're like half the same thing yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh yeah i didn't i forgot that uh like verstappen didn't do formula two either he straight skipped from formula three oh. so he did one season formula three and they were like nope you're going straight to f1 yeah. i mean it worked out yeah yeah for sure <laughs> for sure especially uh, for him because he got <laughs> He got a, a nice seat and a nice lady to go along. With. Yeah, oof, gosh, uh, that's uh, that's one of those big things. It's like you couldn't have planned that, no. could you? No. If you did, it would be it would be crazy. Anyway, yeah. uh, the other the other thing that came out and it got overshadowed by this PK thing, I think, and also because he just keeps talking. Was Bernie was out there talking again about Bernie? Oh God, <laughs> he was. Have to say. He was saying that uh, oh Toto is furious with Lewis and. It, it, he all the speculation is like they're oh they're furious and they hate says they're not there. and if he's gonna smart he's gonna buy Lewis out of his contract and sell that seat and make money and all this stuff like uh, okay Bernie why uh, why would he be furious at Lewis because George Russell's doing better and Lewis is going to is must be like five times more expensive than him well that oh, yeah that is that is that's on a price true because thing. I think. Uh, Gosh, what is uh, how much is forty million a year, right? Is it forty? Oh, gosh, thirty-five, forty. Because I believe probably uh, more than that. I believe Verstappen is number two at twenty-five million per year. Yeah, well, I mean, and he would do sponsorships and yeah, all the other stuff on top of it. But just straight pay, I think. And I think Hamilton's like forty though, because he's still on some of the older contracts where they got paid a little bit more, like uh, Schumacher and all those guys were like fifty million a year. Yeah, back, back in the day. Yeah, um, and so it it, it it was just very strange because like they're very clearly in a new car. And they've said like we're giving Lewis the experimental setups, yeah. the extreme setups to figure this shit out. But uh, uh, that's that's just how it goes. It's, it's, it's weird. Burn it. I, if I predicted. <laughs> uh, you know what I've been watching? Uh, uh, I've been watching some older races. Yeah. Okay. And I've been really liking. Uh, what did I just watch the other day? The, the end of the 2008 um, okay. Grand Prix, which was or a season, which I think was Lewis's first. Championship, first with, championship, uh, McLaren, with McLaren, yeah. Uh, and so they've got they've got good like 10, 20 minute versions of the races. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. What is it? The review of yeah. uh, those are great. Yeah, I really like. Yes, those. He, he was a he was a little punk. He was. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, that's what I always tell everybody. It was like because everybody's like, oh, Verstappen is a little asshole, little punk. I'm like, you should go back and watch you, some Hamilton stuff. Yeah, you watch early <laughs> Hamilton. You watch Sebastian when he oh, was doing well, Sebastian and he was. He was he was fiery. He was man. Um, I mean, if you're ever gonna do it, you might as well do it when you're winning, yeah, and yeah. not when you can. <laughs> and when you're young, you yeah. get away with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Do we have? I think we're still waiting on folks here. Yeah, still we got two out there. Oh yes. Okay. Great. Um, but uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Meryl says, "Do you guys have thoughts on the new? Uh, what is this? Thirty-minute scripted F1 series announced for Hulu? Oh, I missed that. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, there has been a lot of talk of the Apple TV Plus. Uh, Film. Not interested. <laughs> because Lewis Hamilton's producing it. Brad Pitt is playing uh, a, a race car driver. Man, you keep on saying more words that make me <laughs> less, and, less and less interested. It's so it's funny because like Lewis Hamilton being attached as a producer or whatever, mm -hmm. it's like he's not writing the fucking thing. He's just saying like the cars is are he, not is like he, that. He, is he is he writing the music for it or something? He's a producer. I, have you he's listened attached. to his music? No. Did he he actually made music? Oh yeah. You should listen to it. It's actually good. Are you sure? Yeah, You're good. Yes. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. It is. I'm not, going to YouTube. You should, you should go listen to it, man. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. What music did he make? Because I know about like uh, Supermax is like a big song in the Formula One. Like, yeah. I, uh, I mean, it's, it's some groovy hip hoppy. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's. I mean, I guess they've done a bunch of stuff of like animations and things. Yeah. Um. Uh. I, I'm, 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 I think you may, may have to like Spotify or whatever. Okay. Well, well, maybe we'll come back. Oh, wait. No, these are okay. Those are like my. We'll, okay. we'll come back to that another yeah, yeah. time because that's a big. We'll, do that. that's we'll a, save it. We'll save that for next episode. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, well, thank you very much, Corey. Yep. Hugs and kisses uh, for joining me here. I thank you everybody for joining me here at the end of the Great Night Green Room 
great room whole pre-show bit. Uh, if you want to support us, uh, please go over to patreon.com slash great night. Yeah, kick us over a few bucks over there and you'll get access to uh, all of the exclusive bonus podcasts. And they come out uh, every, uh, at, at least, no, up to five times a month. They're happening once a week. They're great. They're always really fun. In fact, uh, uh, if you haven't had a chance to listen to them, you're going to have a few chances to listen to them in the coming weeks. But, uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, And then also the Diamond Lounge in our Discord where we post stuff. Uh, you get updates in your inbox, RSS feed, all that straight, great, all that straight, great stuff. It's straight great. Patreon.com. What are you doing with your pants, Justin? I'm, I just see him off to the corner doing some Tom Sawyer shit. Your decisions, Bryce. Okay. We're making fashion decisions because this is a visual medium. Uh, okay. I'll, All right. Uh, yeah. So we didn't know. We, we decided we're. Anyway, we'll I'm not talk showing about that it. corp. <laughs> we'll, we'll, let, we'll, I'll show that when we talk about that corp. Yeah. We'll, we'll save it. We'll save it for. We'll save the goods for the BFBs. Um. Uh, uh. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, but, uh, yes, everybody, thank you so much for, for joining us here. Um, let's do some final checks. Uh, all right, uh, Brett. How are you doing? Hello, friend. Uh, let's see, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Brian. Huzzah! And did you want a karaoke of that? Sure. Uh, you, okay. Uh, the, and the audience, how are we doing? Love to see it. All right. Well, uh, then we're going to take it over to the start of the show. Brett, I'm going to count you in. Thank you. Oh, and is the crew ready? Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I didn't want to forget him. All right. All right, Brett, here you go. <laughs> All right. One more. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Third. Uh, 